We're learning of new deaths in the nationwide public health crisis tied to vaping. Health officials in Florida and Georgia confirmed the first deaths in those states this week, bringing the nationwide total to at least 10. States are moving fast to curb use of the devices. Yesterday, Rhode Island became the latest state to ban the sale of flavored e-cigarettes. At least three other states have announced a full or partial ban on sales. And this news comes as the nation's largest e-cigarette company, that's Juul, announced a new CEO, a former tobacco executive. The company faces growing questions about its marketing amid soaring use of e-cigarettes by teenagers. Big news in the tobacco world. Juul CEO Kevin Burns is stepping down. This looks like bad news. As the nation's vaping health crisis explodes, its largest e-cigarette company is changing leadership. Kevin Burns has come under fire for his company's handling of the vaping epidemic. Juul CEO Kevin Burns facing a steady rise in use among teens. Youth usage is a serious problem and we are committed to solving it. Stepped down Wednesday. He'll be replaced by Casey Crothwaite, until now chief growth officer at Altria Group, one of America's largest tobacco companies and owner of a 35 percent stake in Juul. Tested for toxicity. Last month, we asked Burns about that investment. Did it hurt your credibility to take billions of dollars from Altria, the sellers of Marlboro, a quintessential big tobacco company? Certainly hurt us in the, I would say, in the health and scientific community, certainly hurt us. The FDA has accused Juul of marketing to teens and making unproven safety claims, charges Juul denies. At the same time, states are cracking down on all forms of vaping, which has been linked to more than 500 illnesses and at least 10 deaths. At a hearing Wednesday, lawmakers demanded answers from the Food and Drug Administration. How do we get to a point where we've got now a, a widely used consumer series of consumer products that are getting 530 people sick? In retrospect, the FDA should have acted sooner. We should have begun regulating these devices sooner. I think that what this demonstrates is that the e-cigarette market is basically being handed to big tobacco. Dr. Michael Siegel, a physician and tobacco researcher, says Juul's new leadership and sweeping state restrictions on vape products will do more harm than good. I think it's very unfortunate to go after legal businesses that are selling products that are helping so many smokers to quit smoking and to stay off cigarettes. And Juul also announced it will suspend all U.S. advertising and will halt lobbying of the Trump administration on a proposal to ban flavored e-cigarettes. Juul said in a statement it will fully support and comply with the final FDA policy or Trump administration policy when it's effective. You said this yesterday, Tony. The optics of putting a, someone, an executive from Big Tobacco in, in, in Juul now are, are not Doesn't best. look good. And yeah. at the same time, these state regulations are putting small vape shops out of business, shops that have existed long before there was a teen health crisis, long before there were these illnesses, uh, and haven't been implicated. Yeah. So it is kind of a handover to Big Tobacco. A yeah, new chapter for Juul. We'll see how yeah. that works out.